Happy Friday Zelda fans, Rick here. Today I'm going to be doing a little comparison of Link's Awakening. So yesterday, Nintendo of Japan was gracious enough to drop a little trailer for us showing off the Ballad of the Windfish with Japanese lyrics. While we have yet to get a confirmation on whether or not we'll be getting an English version, this one still gives me the chills listening to it. To kick off September and my coverage of Link's Awakening, here's a comparison video of the original 1993 release, the 1998 re-release, and the 2019 remake on the Nintendo Switch. Before we drift off into the video, I wanted to point out that I now have a membership program here on my channel. By becoming a member, you get perks like special badges, 10% off my merch store, and sneak peeks to videos I'm working on. Memberships work very similar to a Patreon subscription just here on YouTube instead. So please, if you wish to support me and my content, check out my membership option below. If you can't do that, don't worry, leaving a like and commenting is much appreciated. Thank you all for your time. As the trailer starts, we get a look at the opening scene when Marin finds Link washed ashore Koholint Island. Just wow. The jump from color from 1993 to 1998 really improved the overall visuals of the game when it was released, but this remake is just beautiful. Next it cuts to a scene of Link playing the ocarina in the animal village alongside Marin. Notice that some of the animal's locations have slightly moved as well as one or two of the flowers, and they've even added a couple extra butterflies. Here's a clip of the two boys just outside of Mabe Village. This is actually the start of the quest to save the beloved Bow Wow in game. While the Zelda team did what they could on the Game Boy hardware back in the day, being able to see the sheer panic of these boys faces makes this scene that much better. Quickly cutting over to the raccoon in the mysterious woods, we can see that he's still being a pest getting people lost just like in the Game Boy version. Then we get a clip of Link swimming through the underwater tunnel leading to Catfish's Maw. In the original, Nintendo added what looks to be coral around the area, and in the remake they've gone ahead and changed it to a more lush green type of underwater foliage. Also Link has some new yellow flippers on. While the original 1993 release was in black and white, the 1998 release featured a set of blue flippers. Admittedly, you never see this color change on Link in-game, so this is a nice change. Now for one of the more popular scenes. Link's meeting with Marin on the beach has been beautifully recreated. The sands of Koholint have never looked better in my opinion. The added log in front of Marin makes a lot more sense in translation to the next clip showing Link and Marin sitting together staring off into the ocean. Breathtaking. They really outdid themselves on this one. Just take in the nostalgia. Moving on, we come to Mamu and his frog choir teaching Link the frog song of souls. Boy did this room get an update. While the lamps and bones are still intact, they've added some decorative lily pads, a stage for Mamu, and two pedestals for his choir. The last round of scenes go by pretty quickly. First we get the Nightmare of Bottles Grotto, Genie, making quite the entrance compared to the original. Link can be seen using the rooster in the next cut. Not much to say about this guy other than he's gotten a color update, which is good to see. Following that is the epic anglerfish. Well, at least I hope it's epic in this game, as it was known as one of the easier bosses in the original. It looks as though all of the bosses will be getting an updated introduction scene, which is a welcome addition. Angler's Tunnel opening is quite the sight to see in this remake. Before the waterfall would just stop, but now the waterfall literally parts, revealing the opening to the dungeon. Following suit, we get a shot of Eagle's Tower opening up. The Zelda team went ahead and added a pair of ominous glowing eyes as the dungeon spins around. I don't know about you, but those eyes give me the creeps. To finish off the trailer, we end with Link ever so slowly approaching the egg of the windfish. Obviously, the remake is looking light years better than the original and the DX version. But it's really cool to see how true they've stayed to the source material. 
Link's Awakening is a masterpiece, and I have no doubt the Zelda team has done their best to preserve and build upon what made the original what it is. That's a wrap for today's comparison video. Please, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts. I'll let you go with the trailer clips played in order from 1993 to 2019. Thank you for watching everybody, have a wonderful rest of your week, peace out. Nintendo Switch, Zelda's Legend, Dreams of Mirror.